here have nothing. There's a dead silence. But this situation is going to change. New history of the moon opening. From Apollo 11 to Apollo 17 in 1972. 12 astronauts eventually landed on the moon. Costing a combined $153 billion. After that, no humans landed on the moon for the next 50 years. China's Chang'e 6 probe lands on the far side of the moon. The first manned test flight of Boeing Starliner spacecraft heralds the resumption of human exploration of the moon. A sci-fi scenario of a lunar settlement that it's a huge glass-domed city. Humans live a high quality of life on the moon similar to that on Earth. But this structure is impractical and impossible to be built. If a meteorite weighing 5 kilograms and hitting the lunar surface at 72 kilometers, it can excavate a crater more than 9 meters in diameter and hurling 75 metric tons of lunar soil and rock. The moon averages more than 100 space rock strikes a day. That's about 33,000 space rock strikes a year. The moon, unprotected by a magnetic field or atmosphere. Solar radiation is everywhere. Science has shown that three days of radiation on the moon or Mars is about the same as a year on Earth. Space radiation can break the chromosome chains of DNA, causing unknown space diseases, and even the inability to reproduce human offspring. We all know different caves. The ancestors of man lived in caves to escape from wild animals. Derinkuyu underground city in Turkey is about 60 meters deep, 20 floors. More than 20,000 people used to live in it. Inside there are different rooms, churches, schools, storage rooms and even cemeteries. All for reasons of life safety. Cave settlements became the choice for special situations. The movie Dune has a detail that's easy to overlook. The appearance of cave dwellings in the mountains. This suggests that before the construction of civilized cities, they spend a lot of time in caves. Under the lunar soil, a big project is underway. The ground control station sends out control signals through an antenna. Real-time live video is projected to the station. The signal delay from the Earth to the Moon is about 2 seconds. The lightweight design means the rocket can carry more construction machines. The completed settlement is a sturdy bunker-like structure.
Thick beams and columns supported the security of the super high space. To prevent radiation window openings are small and few in number. Surviving on a planet full of crises. The building's only function is to protect humans. In a simple sense. This building is in the brutalist style. Looking back now at the movie Dune. The setup of the planet told us that the difficulty of building cities outside of Earth. It also reminds the building not to forget the original characteristics of the civilization. The sheer volume of space requires a huge amount of oxygen to be consumed. Fortunately, the moon's soil has a surprisingly high oxygen content of 42%. A storage capacity of 800 million people could be used for 100,000 years. They're preserved in the earth in the form of oxides. Scientists developed a high-energy laser device to heat the soil particles on the nanometer scale. And through the action of the system, oxygen, water and CO2 are separated. It's not news that the moon has water in its soil. But not many people know how much. If all of it could be utilized. About 900 kilograms of soil contains 0.2 kilograms of water. Food supply cannot rely heavily on rocket transport. This is because the thrust and payload of rockets are limited by Earth's gravity. But only a sufficient food supply for a long-term settlement in space can become a reality. Vegetables cannot be grown in direct sunlight. Radiation prevents them from growing. Lunar soil due to excessive space radiation. The Stanford University Botanical Laboratory says growing vegetables in lunar soil is nearly impossible. Mature indoor soilless growing techniques are guaranteed for lunar settlement. The successful launch of the Falcon 9, the world's most powerful rocket. Another step forward in space exploration. It's aimed at Mars. The moon base is just a stepping stone to deep space. But in time, it will grow. It will eventually develop into a massive underground city.